Okay. So I got to remove these two clips, which is what's holding the electrical harness. Once I pull it out, I will show you where they're at. Let's see if I can lift it up. This time. Oh, you fucker. Ah, here's the harness. That's what I was holding. So, battery is out. Leave the batteries here. Now, you're gonna have more room now. You can drop this stuff in here out of the way because we're gonna be working in this area. He's got this upgraded intake Mickey Mouse crap which is uh, some people likes it but yeah I guess he give a little bit more power so I think it's a mess sensor for the air so disconnect that um, in this case He's got this box here. I'm gonna go with uh, bigger, bigger uh, clamp diameter. So that way I get less uh, moving parts out of the way. Go on this side, right here. Now. I'm gonna take from this side less stuff. It's gonna be still hanging there, you know. Also, he was losing oil a little bit lately, so I don't know. We're gonna have to open up and see what the hell is going on with this engine. Now Got this out of the way. Put it in here. And we'll put it in the garage later. And leave it, nothing's gonna happen. Still. Now you got all these pipes and hoses. Just remember where they go. This is gonna be probably on the way I'm gonna have to bend it for the other direction so electrical harness gonna have to come off all the fuel injectors and coils this is the coil this is not a fuel injector this coils got spark plugs inside once you take this coil off Spark plug is in there, so that that that's gonna have to come off. I hate those clips, man. You see, they they breaks. So now this one, and this. So that's one, three, and five. Because even numbers on the other side, because it's a V eight. No, it's V six. No. Yeah, V6, you're right. Now, after we finish, that's gonna be V12. If you we'll be able to put all that stuff back in, the way it was. Okay. So now, see this is 10 millimeter. Um, we can get a socket to make it jump right. Yeah, because you're just gonna, get a socket. You're gonna get strip stuff, but plus it's all rusty. That's another thing, you know. Okay, see, it's got another harness for this sensor in here. Also in the back, it's got a little sensor in here. So I'm gonna see if I can pop this one out. Oh, I gotta pop it, okay. That could be, uh, I don't know what that could be, but it's another sensor seats in the valve. Power. Maybe a noise sensor or something, like a sensor. Probably not. It's it's more for a 
closer to the crankshaft. We're gonna remove that electrical harness first. So let's pop all the sensors off first. Wow, that's actually pretty rusty. And you got another sensor here. What the hell is this one for? And that one just sits just like that. See? So we're gonna get this electrical harness out of the way. All right, stay right here. Let me get a 10 millimeter socket. How many miles is this car? Uh, he's got about 190. 190. I think it's got about 190. This car was made in 2006. Yeah. So, 190,000 or 180,000, and something snapped inside that engine. See how rusty this thing? Yeah, but 190,000. Yeah, but you know, I got already 200 plus on, on, yours. The, on the Forerunner. Yeah, but yours is much younger. Younger and stronger because SUV is much stronger. Another thing, when you take stuff apart, put screws and bolts as much as you can on the same spots. That way you don't have to guess later, hey, I got this two millimeter. Why you drop it? I got this 10, 10 millimeter nut and I don't know where it goes. So what you do is move this out of the way and put this back. You can screw it back. I'll get the other one. Another one probably somewhere on the floor. So now I know for a fact this is 10 millimeter too. And you can see this has been replaced. Did you replace? Yeah. And guess what? It's been replaced on the same cylinder because that cylinder has misfire. Why the hell he has misfire? Because the valve probably already had a little gap and it was small leakage. So, so it was oh. very sensitive to getting misfire because probably compression wasn't that great. Yeah, but what was that clicking sounds that always made this car? Uh, it was a little ticking sounds. That was from a, a spring. Look oh, at this. Rusty as well. And this one is. Uh, this one is never been removed. Two probably been unscrewed. Another thing, when you assemble back, put some little grease on it because that's the cylinder? No, that's the coil. Oh. That's called ignition coil. It creates high voltage on it. It's rusty, see? man. It's a little rust corrosion there. This is number two. See? Oil. It's got a little oil. Looks like leaking somewhere. That's not good. And that's this, number three. Yeah, but this is the one. I mean, that's actually, one. it's a one, three, and five. This, this is new one. Yeah. See? Choo -choo. A little bit uh, dust on it because it's brand new. So the spark plugs, it's all the way there. You see, all the way inside there. Now back up and zoom in by holding it. Just turn it. Yeah, keep going. All the way. It's too dark in there. Gotta shine a flashlight. Yeah, I can. I can shine the flashlight in there. Let me see where is my flashlight here. All right, a little bit closer, probably. See it or no? No. Which one you doing? You doing first one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me get a flashlight. Yeah. So those spark plugs we're gonna remove later. Oh, I can see it with my own eyes. It's really dark. I mean. 
See it now? Yeah. It's that little speck. That's all right. Okay. But it's not important. Not really, but it's cool. It's not important. We're gonna remove it later. And uh, we're gonna remove one of them though, not all three, because the whole cap, this whole cap, you might as to well. come off. Yeah. Yes, Everything's gonna come off. So might as well replace all three while you're there. We're not gonna replace the spark box. We're gonna open up and see what's inside. See the little door? That's your guest door. That's what modulating uh, more air or less air. Okay, you can stop it now. In the way. So, I'm gonna remove this guy because he gets on the way. That's gonna give us uh, better clearance. Or maybe together with this holes. So I have to disconnect. Less stuff you disconnect, it's easier gonna be reconnect. So don't take stuff unnecessary. You don't need it, you know? Let's see. Some, okay, something else. That's still probably coming. the wire. Oh no, it's got another uh, screw. Another holes in the back. Another holes in the back which is uh, rubber, probably vacuum holes. And a little vacuum holes. That's what holding us from getting removed. So once I pop this clip, if I be able to grab it. Yeah. Oh, that one. Let me see. I should try to do that. Before I remove that, that way nothing moving. Once I get that clip, let me see. Another option you can do. Besides the clip, rubber holes, it's probably frozen. So I'm gonna have to hold it in place solid and get the clip off almost there nope. we're gonna have to get a small channel lock let's see if I can remove this hold on one second Maybe it's that screw on the side? No, it's a, it's a hose. It's a hose, it's a vacuum hose. We're gonna use this German one. It's gonna give me more, more leverage to grab it. It should be one, two, three. I have to close a little more. tiny channel lock it's very handy and it jumps like this because you can squeeze it see I'm holding already only problem you gotta get out of the way here you go I got this clamp out of the way now the main problem is get the holes off because holes is frozen so we're gonna see if we can work this flat screwdriver all the way around why the hell I got fuel in there too no that's actually coolant this actually has a coolant inside I thought there was a vacuum line see the coolant leaking see this holes see my hand the looks like a coolant so they're running coolant through here to cool down so we're gonna get this out of the way. Just gotta be careful when you close in the hood. Don't close it all the way because it's gonna jam on it. Move this out of the way, move down. Be 
because this thing I'm sure it's gonna get so now we got access to one two or whatever that's not the ones uh, right here to that screw this one yeah you see the little screen so in case something happen and this filter right here if this filter fails and sucked in some debris and it goes inside the intake it doesn't damage the engine so you got little screen here like a protective for a bigger de de debris you know but you're not supposed to have that so once you remove this you got more room to remove this screw right here so I assume all this stuff is probably liquid too because I tried to open this up and there was something coming out too so this has to get out of the way well, at least we got throttle body out now once we remove this we can start removing all these bolts for a valve cover everything is everything is disconnected the only thing left is little pipe couple hoses this pipe actually I don't think I'd be able to get all the way there so might have to see if it's a rubber if it's a rubber sleeve on that side let me see if it's a rubber sleeve on that side maybe uh you can swing because this is right on top of the valve cover I'm gonna have to use a 3 8 3 8 ratchet because that stuff is real like a 10 millimeter right here 38 let me get on this see careful you yeah I know the whole thing try to twist see husky husky is always nice it's got bent a little bit that's okay that's okay yeah, it looks like uh, it's some kind of flex point there. We're gonna know in a second once I remove this. Yeah, it's a hose there. It's my flashlight. Yeah, it's a hose there. You can see it's moving so. What I want to do is disconnect it. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to pop this side. Actually, you can do by hand. Squeeze it. See how it moves. So now. I'm going to have to work. Work with the holes. Because every hose is kind of stuck. Now it's moving. So I'm pulling apart. And we're gonna see what kind of stuff in there. Gasoline. Yes. What the hell they using gasoline in the rubberized uh, tubing? Okay, so this is out of the way. Unless it's metal on the inside. No, it's reinforced. It's reinforced stuff in there. And I have to put some kind of 